Formatting styles for small text fields. Presented by the Idaho Digital Accessibility Consortium. When formatting your text for a short text field or a small text field box in your PDF form, there are a couple key things you need to keep in mind. Small text fields tend to not take up as much room as a large text field, and so you can keep your content on one line. In this About You section, we have date, name, what organization are you affiliated with, and what is your job title. We've identified that these are going to be small text fields, so we basically need to leave space on the document for us to draw a single text field using the Adobe Acrobat tools. If your questions are small enough, um, that is, if you don't need enough space to take up an entire single line on the page, you can take your information and put it on the same line. For this example, we have date and name. Date isn't going to need a lot of space, but name you probably want to leave a pretty good sized text box for people to write their name or to type their name in. So we can put them on the same line. And one of the easiest ways to add spaces to our document, rather than using the space, 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 um, space bar to add those spaces in, or using tabs to go tab, 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 we don't really want to do that. And the reason is, if you look under the home ribbon, paragraph, show hide, Every time you add a tab space in, you can see that that's adding those spaces on the page. And those can add empty tags in your PDF document. And we don't want that. We don't want to really have to do more in Adobe than we need to. So what we're going to do is use a tab stop to move our name text over to where we want it to be. I like to use or this ruler tool in Microsoft Word to help me figure out where to place these tab stops. And if you don't have the ruler, you can turn it on by going view and then under show, just turn the ruler on, select ruler. And you can move your text up closer to the ribbon. You can zoom in your content if you want. So you can kind of use that as a tool for you. And to add a tab stop, I'm dragging my mouse just a little bit below the ruler and let's say we want to put name at the two inch mark. So I'm going to click and add that little tab stop there. And when I hit tab, name is going to line up with that tab stop. So if you have short text fields that are uh, going to be easy to put on a single line, use those tab stops to kind of align them across the page where you need. And if we look at the show hide view, notice there is only one character between date and name as opposed to multiple ones if we were using space or tabs more than once. For what organization are you affiliated with and what is your job title? Those are probably big enough that they need their own. So for example, if we moved what is your job title up to the top and did a tab space, it doesn't leave a ton of room for someone to put their job title if they have a long organization. So if you think your users are going to need a little bit more space um, to put that information, leave each small text field item on its own line. So if you can put them on a single line, use tab stops to arrange them across the page um, from left to right. If you don't, leave them on a single line and then we can draw in that single line of text um, using the Adobe tools. The other thing to keep in mind when you are talking about small text fields is the spacing between the lines. You want to have enough space in Adobe to draw those text boxes so that the content isn't really crowded. And if everything is super close together, so let's change this, for example, to single line spacing. So this now has a single line um, spacing and it's a little more smushed. But let's say maybe you don't want it as far apart away as it is now. Maybe you have some constraints on the page as far as trying to keep certain content together um, or you're trying to get everything into you know one or two pages and you need to play with these spacing a little bit more. So one thing you can do 
is highlight your content, open the paragraph settings, and in this spacing section under the paragraph settings, you can change how much space it comes before a line and comes after a line. So right now the after is set at eight points. If I bump that down to six, that smushes everything together just a little bit more. And if another thing I can do, if I want to reuse this style, this spacing style later, I can create a style that is specific for my short answer text box. So the way I do that is I highlight my text. Let's say I don't have this style already created. Um, I'm going to open my styles, add a new style, and I'm going to call it short answer. And that way it is going to keep my single spacing with six point style and it's based on the normal style. If I need to make any other changes at this point, I can just change this style and it will change it um, any place I have this style associated with. So now I'm going to click OK. So let's say these other ones had our normal style applied and I want to apply the short answer style. So now I have short answer, short answer, short answer. And if these, if I have any other place in the document that needs to have that little bit different spacing with that short answer, all I have to do is select that content and tag my style now.